Welcome guys to this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate an actual Shopify store. It's going to be a really easy element. The very first thing you want to do is to have an actual Shopify store. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you haven't claimed an actual huge deal inside your actual website. So once you have just focused inside here, your Shopify, you might be seeing your dashboard here. So to get started, I'm going to focus now into the backup of my store. Before duplicating my Shopify store, it's really essential and crucial to create a backup to ensure we don't lose any valuable data. So you can do this by exporting your products, the customer, the orders, and all the data from the Shopify administrator dashboard. So what we can do is to focus inside the online store, and I click here. Here, as you can see, we do have the actual element of my theme. So here I have the theme library, and I have the spotlight. What I can do is to try to download out the theme file. So I sent an email and here is my theme file already been edited. The elements which you would like to duplicate, for example, all of my products. I go here, products, and I choose the option that says export. So I choose all my products. And usually it's going to be really easy to export this as a CSV for Excel. And I export all the products. I do exactly the same thing with all my customers, with all my content, the analytics, the discount, and even the orders if you wanted to. So all of those elements should be appearing here into the upper side. Once you have finished exporting all of those elements, what you can do is now to install a duplicate store application. So to duplicate your Shopify store, you will need to install a duplicate store app from the Shopify app store. There are several applications available that can help you clone your store quickly and easy. So look for an app with positive reviews and features that meets your need. I'm going to focus into the pod and go for application and choose a relevant word, for example, clone. And I look out for Shopify app store. This one should be sending me directly into the actual Shopify app store so I can look out for an application that can be helping me to back up and duplicate my actual um, store. So as you can see, we have the product cloner, we have the page fly landing page builder, we have the backup master backups, and much more. So make sure that this actually comes with an actual free plan. Once you make sure it comes with an actual free plan, what you can do is now to focus inside install. In this case, this one comes with an actual uh, plan monthly, so I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus in here. And as you can see, this one comes with a free plan. So I go for install. Now this is the part where I wanted to configure my duplicate store settings. After installing your duplicate store app, we need to configure the settings, uh, the settings to specify what elements of the store we wanted to duplicate. So this might include the products, the collections, the pages, the theme, the settings, and so much more. Now some applications allow you to customize the duplication process folder uh, by selecting specific items to include and exclude or exclude the uh, duplication of the store. So as you can see here is our privacy policy. I wanted to enable this. Now I choose my tour option. Whether well, that will be export store data for a smooth transition to a new Shopify store. So I go for continue and I select all the elements, the product, the manual collection, the automated collection, the page, blogs, everything. So I choose the option that says continue. This is where we want to initiate the duplication process. Depending on the application you are actually using, this might involve clicking a button to start duplication process or following a series of prompts to confirm your selections. Now the application when created duplicate Shopify store based on their specific settings. So I go here and you can see that we have the customized resources, all the products, the manual collection, the package information, the version, and I choose to export it now. Now, as you can see, the process is running into the background. It says waiting for completed. So I'm gonna just make sure that the export has now been successfully done. And now that I have here this element downloaded, what we can do is to get started with a new Shopify store. But in this new Shopify store, what we need to do is to, of course, use this basic information to import it now. Now I'm gonna get into all the stores and create a new store. Directly into creating a new store, I'm going to skip all of this part. And then what I need to do is just to install once again the A clone 
back into my new uh, Shopify so I can import all of those elements and add it directly into my new Shopify store. So for that, I'm going to focus once again into my new Shopify dashboard directly into my new Shopify dashboard. What I need to do, what I need to do is to focus into the left part. It says add applications. So here I'm going to type a clone and I choose to import the theme from current resource store. And here, as you can see, here's my source store. So I just need to make sure that this product has not been added directly inside this section. And your store should be, let's say, duplicated really fast. What I need to do, of course, is to add my favicon, make sure that my product is now looking great and all of that. But so far, I believe it's going to be a really easy process. Just uh, make sure that we have done this process uh, time by time. And when you make the export of the data, you have to make sure that you have added all of those elements and just take your time to export it one by one. So guys, there you have it, really easy tutorials. The last solution that I can give you is that just in case this didn't work for you, if you export all your orders, all your customers, all your content analytics, after that, what you can do is to go back into the Shopify of the new store, go for your products and go for import and choose the CSV file that was downloaded from your current uh, store that you're using the Shopify and then you might be successfully good to go. So guys, we have now learned how to duplicate a Shopify store, whether you are testing it, new design, launching multiple store or creating backups. Duplicating a Shopify store can be a valuable tool for Shopify store owners and developers. So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools here into Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time.